offensively that Miami has? Where does it scare you is the wrong word, but you know what I mean? Where does it sort of alarm you the most? Well, they got two great running backs. Um, they got, you know, three or four receivers that can beat you deep and that are just productive. So they're, they're Miami. The quarterback's playing at a high, high level. They just, you know, threw for 400 yards on Florida State. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're an impressive offense. I you were particularly impressed by ECU's receivers, you guys as a group. It sounds like that mm -hmm. Scott, Waters, and Coley, the most dangerous trio that you've faced or that you I, might see this season? I'd say so. They're right up there. Um, Ohio State didn't have all their guys healthy, so I'd say with, with that being the case, yes. Um, those guys are, are all very productive. Um, I know you said the names, but three six are extremely fast, look very fast. And 11, he's their leading receiver. He's got the most targets, and um, he's very talented. And all those guys make plays versus um, Florida State last game. What do you think about those young guys in the secondary? Have done enough that they've sort of had a couple games to get acclimated to it? Well, they're starting to make the progression you hope they would make. Is it is it going to be um, to the level where we can go on the road and beat Miami is now the next part. Um, I thought we made great strides versus North Carolina State. And if we can continue to do that, we'll have a chance to, to be a pretty good secondary and be successful. Does, does the group sort of have to get over the initial shock of not having Kendall? I mean, I can imagine that came to blow everybody right. there. I think so. I think that first game versus Pitt, you're young and you're adjusting and, and all those things. And then last week, we seemed to be more settled down and under, have a little bit more understanding. And now we know um, we can do some things and um, hopefully we can 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 move forward and um, be a good group. It looked like Brandon had a pretty strong finish to that game. He got the PI and then they came back at him three times. Right. He, he stopped him each time. You know, it was um, great to see Brandon have that type of game. Um, that was really the first time we asked him to be the boundary corner for the whole game. And he made plays that Kendall had been making and was accustomed to making in that position to make. So I know his confidence has grown and it was great to see him make those plays and and play with that type of confidence. Is that a role for him going forward, the boundary? Is he going to stay there? Yeah, yeah. we'll leave him at the boundary corner and um, hopefully he'll continue to, to play with that type of consistency. I know it obviously has something to do with the number of times a team's thrown against you, but considering you're so young, you've had so many injuries in the secondary. Does it surprise you to learn or know that you're the 11th you know, you're 11th in passing yards surrendered per game. Are we sure. really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. I know that. you don't look at numbers, so I don't know <laughs> I really didn't know that. Um, does it bother me? I guess I wouldn't have known if you hadn't have said that to me, so maybe it would bother me if I think about you. it. I just wonder if it surprised you. Passing yards surrendered per game. You're 11th in the nation, not in the ACC. Really? Yeah. My God, I didn't know we were that bad. We got we to gotta <laughs> tighten it up then. <laughs> you're that bad. Yeah.